Good morning, it's uh, Thursday the 11th. I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief. So the sterling rally continues for now. We touched uh, 128.15 against the dollar yesterday, but we drifted back from there and we opened around uh, around 126.70. Reasons for the market to add to or even retain long positions are fading. We had a report out yesterday on the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. It suggests that the UK might be one of the worst affected in what it calls the affluent nations. Due to the lack of manufacturing base, the reliance on the service sector will mean it will take longer to reach economic normality again. Now that's all well and good and frankly nothing that new, but now with Brexit back in focus, with the deadline for any extension at month end, it does pull it all into focus and, uh, and we have a look at any like-for-like -like comparison with the Eurozone and remember, their Q1 GDP data shrank less than expected. Tomorrow we've got an updated data release for the UK and that could see the UK replace the EU at the bottom of the growth league table. Shock horror. It's kind of like we're in a relegation battle and our manager must make a decision now, or by month end anyway, that will affect what happens in the January transfer window. Sadly, Cluffy's not with us, not an option, and Pep, he could be conflicted. So any chance we could pull Sir Alex into number 10 for a bit? just an idea. Um, so in the US, Powell's been on. He held the usual uh, press conference after the Fed meeting. Um, and he's confirmed no change to policy, uh, which was very much expected. But he's also underlined his reputation as a real, as the real deal. Um, and he delivered another eloquent delivery of the Fed decision. Um, he acknowledged the return to growth will be tough and the economy will probably contract by around 6.5%. But he also reconfirmed that the Fed will not shy away from any more extraordinary measures if they become necessary. Uh, today's weekly jobless claims are expected to fall again and the market is uh, hoping to see around uh, 1.5 million new claims um, as, a, as a friendly reminder that the US is still on the right path to recovery. But for now, the dollar does remain a little on the back foot. Um, over in the Eurozone, Deutsche Bank helped shine a light on Germany's economic woes. They announced they will set aside 800 million euros for bad loans in their portfolio. Uh, that's a huge provision to cover the COVID effect. And to put that in perspective, at the height of the financial crisis, the most we saw was only 630 million. Sorry, I mean, I didn't mean 630 million to sound like chump change, but you know what I mean. Uh, the credit crunch was a banker's nightmare for defaults, but uh, COVID could easily make all that look like amateur hour. Um, in the market, euro dollar might be running out of steam um, and could therefore be set for a correction. We touched 114.20 before drifting back a bit yesterday and we opened around 113.50. So that's it from me. Have a great day. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.